Hey guys, I'm back with another video today, and this one is on five games that I have recently downloaded and think you'll enjoy for the Christmas break. So let's get into it. Right, so the first one we've got is Hill Climb Racing. The next one is Ski Safari. The next one, Rayman Jungle Run. And uh, then we've got Paper Monsters. And the last one is Sailboat. Right, so let's get into the first one. And that is Hill Climb Racing. Right, Hill Climb Racing is a reasonably entertaining game. It's a physics-based car driving game. Um, I'm just going to quickly get into it and then I'll come back and show you the features. Uh, no, I don't want to rate it. Okay, so on the right hand side you've got gas. On the left hand side you've got brake. So obviously if you're on the, on the gas and you boost off. Um, when you're in mid-air, if you put your finger on gas, you sort of tilt to the left like you can see I did there. And um, to compensate you put your foot on the brake and it pivots forward. I'll try and do a jump coming up here and there you go. See I put my foot on the gas and it it uh, moved anti-clockwise. So your whole objective is to try and grab these gas canisters to increase your time left to play the game and collect as much of these coins as you can get and you can then upgrade your engine and upgrade your tires and certain parts that I'll go into a little bit later on. So the way you can die is by over... Well, there you go. Okay, so you overcorrect too much and you land on your head and break your neck. Okay, so that's the game. Um, I'm going to go back out of the game and show you some engine parts. So upgrade your engine, I'll do that twice. Um, and you can purchase credits, I guess that's where they make their yeah, thumbs down. So I guess that's how they make their money. Because uh, it's a free game and the advertisements as well. So I've got some engine parts. I've also upgraded some suspension and no four-wheel drive yet. So that's probably not going to help me on the hill climbs. But let's see. Right, so that engine certainly helped a bit. I'm moving a bit faster. Okay, so I'm petrol canisters. And there you go, some air time. Got some more points with that one. Boom. Oh, excuse my cold. I've got a block nose at the moment. Okay, so the more suspension you get, the um, the more shock your car can take. Like at the moment, I'm not being able to handle too much and bounce all over the place. So if I had way more money to spend on shocks, that would probably be the best choice. That and gas. And also the hill climbs, you're going to need some four drive and dead. Four drive and tyres. Okay, so that's the first one. That was hill climb racing. It's pretty good, pretty good fun for a free game. Get into it, and um, I'll put a link in the description. Those are the uh, upgrades, four drive, we've got the tires, that's for traction, suspension, boom boom, yep, and the engine, boost, most important. And stages, so once you've gotten over the first stage and you're a bit bored, you've got to unlock the next stage and use your coins to that. So save up your coins, don't upgrade your car too much. And you can upgrade right to the last one, which is Alien Planet. So those are the different stages. Now vehicles. You've just got the little Jeep. You can upgrade to the motocross bike. You can also upgrade to the monster truck. And last is the race car. That's a lot of coinage. Right. Now the next game I'm going to show you is Ski Safari. This is on the Android Play Store for a dollar. Or $1.24. For New Zealand. Okay, so this is a game based on physics as well. You're a little guy, um, Sven, I think his name is. Anyway, so he's getting taken out by an avalanche and you've got to try and beat the avalanche down the hill. Um, on the way down, you can jump on penguins' backs, go a little bit faster, jump on yetis, you can jump on little skidoos. All right, so there you go, here comes the avalanche. And we've got to jump over obstacles. Like you see, I'll just jump there. And if I hold it down, I can do a flip. The more acrobatic maneuvers you perform, like jumps and hopping on penguins, you get a multiplier, which enables you to go faster. So I'll do another jump. 
here, and I'll do a times two. Here you go. Jump on a penguin, and you can see uh, I get a bit of um, afterburner, I, I think you call it. And collect those coins, you get another multiplier. Do a flip on a penguin, and you can see in the bottom corner I have a little up uh, a goal that I've just accomplished. So I'm jumping on penguins' backs, and that's all fun and games. And uh, no, I'm not going to make that one, but you can jump on a Yuffie's back. You can uh, transfer to another penguin. You get in the multiplier, black flip. So you've got to try and perform as many flips and acrobats as you can to go faster. You can also jump on that little eagle's back, and you can fly for a little bit. So if you're riding another animal, like I'm riding a Yeti here, if I hit a rock, um, it get, basically gives you a second chance. So if I hit a rock now, I will lose him. But if I don't, if I hit a rock when he's standing up, it you sort of get a second chance. And if you've got afterburners on, you can't hit a rock and die either. So it's, it's reasonably quite difficult to die. I normally hit about 100,000 points. There you go, I just got hit the, the wall, but I was right in the Yeti, so I didn't die. So the whole objective is to try and outrun that avalanche, and I think I'll, I'll quit it here because I might be going on for quite some time. Okay, so I've just had a sk skidoo, and I'm going to try and jump and catch oh, an eagle, boom. And you hold down the button to make him fly higher. And eventually, yep, he'll get tired and get sick of me and I'll leave. Right, so I'm going to die here and let the avalanche take me over and I'll show you some of the things you can go back and do on the menu setting. So those are the accomplishments I've achieved. I have been promoted to Penguin First Class, which is the bottom. <laughs> Got some extra coins, so the more coins you have, you can buy things later on in the shop. Or you can purchase them through their in-store app as well. Ham dog. Don't ask me why I call myself that. Okay, so go to the store. And you can upgrade Sven and have him in a Yeti suit. He can be a ninja. It's obviously cost a little bit of money. And you can purchase jetpacks. So if you do happen to fall over just in front of a avalanche, you can boost off with a jetpack. It's pretty handy. Okay. The next one is Rayman Jungle Run. This is only a couple of dollars on the Play Store, or four dollars twenty in New Zealand. Okay, so this is a platform game starring Rayman. I think I'm pretty sure you know who Rayman is. Beautiful graphics, uh, pretty good music. I quite like the little um, sort of Hawaiian jungle music. Now, as far as controls go, you don't have much control over your person. All you can do is jump or uh, um, not jump. So you've got to try and catch through all these little money things. Jump, 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 and climb your way up. Um, this first level is just jump. You haven't got your other actions like flying, which come in the next few levels. So you got to try and, oh I should have got that one, you've got to try and get all these little coins that are flying before you get to the end, and I'm not doing a very good job, so you got to, oh, another, good on you. Okay, so this is a home stretch, and I've only got 56 out of 100, not a great deal. Okay, so it's pretty good for all ages, um, adults and kids as well, so you, you mean you could go past every stage and not click anything and progress. So kids can do it, and adults, you can try and get all those little flying coins. Okay, let me try and get all those coins. Doing a good bad so far, and jump that. Oh, I jumped instead of not jumping. Okay. Anyway, I think you get the point. Let me go to a different level. Right, so that was jump. Next one's fly, and you can get wall climb, and uh, that last one. So let me go into the first level of fly and show you that in action. Okay, so if you click it and hold it down, it starts to fly. So I'll do that over some steam, and you end up flying upwards, like that. Okay, so if you hold it down, 
I think you get the idea. So the whole point of this one is again to grab all the little flying um, gold coins. Right. This next one we have is called Paper Monsters. It is a dollar on the App Store. Ooh, can't say that. It, on the Play Store. And it's a dollar twenty-two in New Zealand. So the paper craze still isn't finished. These paper live wallpaper, paper games, box men shooting zombies. Anyway, so this one, Paper Monsters, is no different. Nice little cut sequence. It's pretty funny. I'll let you listen to this one. Okay, so that's our hero. So there's uh, 28 levels um, across six different worlds. It's it's quite a large game, and it's got a pretty cool soundtrack too. Um, headphones are recommended, obviously, for the best experience. Okay, so let me just go straight into the game and come back out and show you the options and menu later on. So your objective is to get to the end of the level. You can control your character back and forward, and you can jump. Uh, if you double tap jump, you jump higher. So it's kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog where you jump on top of a, a monster and they die. So let me just go up and I'll just skip these ones, you don't need to jump on those question marks. So two jumps, gets those little coins, or buttons, I think they are actually. Paper buttons, probably more like. So jump on top of that guy and boof, turns into a bunch of confetti. And that guy too. Uh, there's two different characters in the first level, one's just that monster who you jump into and another one is a little round thing that blows up so you don't want to get too close to that guy in your second bounce so obviously I've gone into that little portal kind of like a Mario <laughs> portal and objective of the game is to get to the end but obviously you want to try and get all these buttons and paper clips give you uh, little bonuses This is my second time playing, so um, I'm not doing too well, am I? Clearly. Alright, got them all. And now, to the full round. Okay, these are these little bomb things, so jump on them and run away! Didn't get hurt, thank goodness. I might try and get all of them if I can. Haven't done that before. Oh, I don't think you can kill those things. Maybe you can, just not me. <laughs> Okay, some background buttons. And let me just skip to the end stage. Okay, that's me, and we're at the end stage on the little platform, and we go to level two. Okay, let me just go back and show you the menu structure. Right, so other than the um, conventional game that I just played, you have um, a mini game that you can get into. And um, I'll just show you those now actually. You've also got a dressing room you can see there that you can change your character's appearance. So there's Dragon Dash, there's Pumpkin Time, and then there's like a. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, so I obviously can't complete those at the moment because I haven't finished my first stage. Right. So that was Paper Monsters on the Android Play Store. Last game is called Sailboat Championship. Right, so in this game, you control a boat. You're the skipper. And the first couple of uh, levels, you control your sail. And you can uh, tighten it to go faster, to loosen it, to let the air out and you can also control your rudder. Let me just skip that first stage and go into the actual racing. 
So this this uh, level here, I'm going to be racing three other boats, and I don't control my sail. All I do is control my rudder. And obviously, you need the wind. You can see the wind with those arrows there. You need the wind to be at 90 degrees to your sail to be going the fastest. So if I turn into him, you can see myself going faster. And if I turn too fast around here, I'm probably going to lose a lot of speed. Oh, didn't quite turn fast enough. Obviously, if you hit things like that, you lose a lot of speed as well. So you've got to look at the arrows of your wind. And I think I turned a little bit too soon. And make sure that the wind is at 90 degrees to be most effective. Um, the graphics in this will look really cool. The water looks really nice. It's rippling. You can see the shadow effect of the boats, of the underwater mechanics are pretty cool too. Not done a very good job in this one. I've actually only played this a few times and I haven't beaten this this gold boat. He seems to be really quick. I'm just not doing very well, obviously. All right. So that on the Play Store is a dollar ninety-nine or two dollars fifty New Zealand. Uh, definitely worth the money. It's uh, I actually really enjoy this game. But I just started playing it. I'll go back out and show you the stages now. You can obviously see there's quite a few stages to get to. There's some rescue stages. You got to rescue some people by probably sailing over the top of them and doing a circle or something. I'm not sure. Uh, let me go into the the school and show you stage one. So the first few stages, there's no competition. You've just got to try and beat a clock. And doing it under a certain time will, obviously 22 seconds, will give you the gold. And you need that to rank up to get to open future levels. So you might be able to see there's a little um, shadow of a boat behind me. And that was my last attempt at... There you go, you can see him now because I'm that was a better corner for me. And I'm obviously trying to beat my record, which was a couple of seconds. So I beat it by 0.59 and I got a gold. Boom. Right, so those are the games that I recommend to download for the holidays. First one was Hill Climb Racing, the next one was Ski Safari, then we have Jungle Man Rayman, Jungle Run, sorry. And Paper Monsters, the last one was Sailboat. So, this is Kiwi Guy. Enjoy the games. Hey, ciao.